Hello friends, Murphy Daly here on Written by Murphy, bringing you a moment of wonder. Now if you're watching, I want to know. This is a conversation guys, I want to know if you're watching. So please type a one in the comments if you're watching live, or a I love you or a comment in the comments if you're watching live, and let me know if you're watching the replay. Please type replay in the comments because I know there's little computers that track who watches it, and I know I'm getting views, but not everybody, unless the same person is watching it 15 times, I'm not getting everybody talking to me. I'd really love for you to talk to me. So this is a conversation. And this one, guys, this one today is a big conversation. So I'm reading, I don't know, three billion books right now, and I just joined a group of women reading a book Pussy, A Reclamation, which is a book by the woman who authored The Vagina Monologues. So it's very woman's empowerment, right? And I'm enjoying it. I'm not very far into it. I'm about 13% into it. Thank you, Kindle. And it's really interesting. It's talking about how, um, among other things, that we as women will numb down parts of our lives. And that's not what I want. That's not what I want for you, my audience, my co-creators in these moments of wonder. I don't want that for me, and I don't want that for anybody. We should all be growing and expanding in our experiences and our perceptions. If I narrow down my perceptions, then I'm not engaging with the world as fully as I could and as full as I need to. So, okay, I'm reading this book and it's interesting and we're talking about stuff that <gasps> people just don't talk about. Well, I'm willing to talk about it. So we're talking about it now, guys. We're doing it, we're talking about it. And I'm saying the word that's kind of scary, but I'm willing to talk about it. It's a real thing. I've got one, every woman's got one. And also it's a concept. Let's talk about the feminine side, right? Okay, so reading this book, I remembered yesterday. I was sitting by myself waiting for a friend in an open area. I'm sitting here kind of with my phone, kind of with my notebook waiting. And I was feeling fancy because my hair was all down. I'm like, ooh, my hair looks nice today. And it's wonderful to have a life where my hair looks nice a good percentage of the time. You know, isn't that funny? Let me tell you, small snippet. Every single day I would wear my hair like this to work every single weekday. I never once had my hair down. That's kind of a little bit about what this book is about, right? I tied it back because I didn't want anybody telling me I didn't look professional because they say this is unprofessional. Well, it's certainly unexpected and uncontrolled, and I have a whole story about that one, but every single day I would keep it back, right? So, I was feeling fancy in the sun, with my hair down, no, 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 just waiting. Normally, you might imagine, when I'm waiting, I'm reading a book, but I wasn't today, I was just waiting. And there was a gentleman sitting at the table next to me. We're all outside in the patio, and, uh, he was making eye contact. Ha. Huh. Well, he made eye contact three or four times. He was by himself. I was by myself. This was maybe 10 minutes of sitting there alone. Ladies, that's something, isn't it? That's a certain something. So my inclination is, oh Lord, he's interested in me. What am I going to do? This requires some preparation for what may or may not happen next. He may come up and start a conversation. He might inject himself into my life. He might decide that's something now. There's a third thing happening between this person over here and me. Now, I've been talking a bit in these moments about taking improv classes. One of the improv scenes that I was working out with one of my 
acting partners who was female. We were playing that we were working together. And um, she, we were working out the scene like you do in improv, so much fun. And she was a guy at work. And I was a woman who was very obsessed with her skincare. And so I was like, oh, I'm trying to be beautiful. And this woman playing a male coworker at a 7-Eleven, I think, or a, a convenience store, um, was getting very flirty with me in an improv setting. And I realized as we were working this out, it wasn't immediate to me. I, I was like, okay, this is what we do. And immediately I shut that down. I'm like, okay, in an improv, we're playing, we're pretending. I should be able to go with that. But my inclination, deeply held inclination, is to shut that stuff down. If there is any kind of tension between me and somebody else at work, shut it down. Keep it contained. This is in a box that will not be released. And if any of it is getting out, more box. Get this contained. This is not something that we do. Interesting. I couldn't even pretend that was happening. I couldn't even pretend a situation where I had a pretend male coworker that was pretend flirting with me. So I was so shut down on this. Now there's like about a 10% deep, I'll go into that. I'll be like, oh, ha ha ha, aren't you? And then we're moving on. Okay, focus, we're doing the task, keep going. So this is real. Even if there's like the half of a chance that that something is there, I would shut it down. I don't even know the right words to talk about how my relationships with other human beings get locked down and I shut myself off right away before I need to. I can't even explore that at all. And I want to. I'm extremely happy with my marriage and I don't want to um, to stray outside of that. Uh, but <laughs> there's way more room for relationship with people within the boundaries that I know are safe, but I'm not even willing, I'm not, it's like, I don't want to fall off that cliff, but I, is it's okay to be in the same state as the cliff, you know? So this is me talking a lot about my actual experience that I had with this other person. It may have been completely in my mind. All that happened was eye contact, a bit of like two or three seconds of eye contact. Oh, so my lady friends, I'd be interested to know what you think about that. Guy friends, I'd be totally interested to know how you feel about that. It's weird. Just how do we deal with these interactions? I want to be open to people. I love to meet new people. I'm actually super fond of men too. But I've learned, and that could be a much longer uh, moment of wonder, which we'll go on to. I've learned that um, it's not safe. Not everyone will respect my the law <laughs> and my boundaries so as i even just begin 13 percent into this book i'm already going oh wow if i do this if i let my hair down not even metaphorically guys if i let my hair down i will suddenly have to deal with something that i don't feel terribly equipped to deal with ah eh. And you know what? That's on me. I better get equipped, right? So I think I probably better finish the rest of the book and start talking about it with people. I'd love to hear what you think. So leave a comment. Let's have this discussion. I'd love to hear about it. Let's continue the conversation.